Hello, I'm Tyler Foles. I'm a nuclear engineer with a little over 10 years of experience in the commercial nuclear power industry, from operations to engineering to emergency response. I don't claim to know everything there is to know nuclear, but I can certainly share some knowledge. If you like these videos, please hit a like and hit the subscribe button to know when more videos are coming. If you have any suggestions of other movies, TV shows, um, web videos that you would like me to react to, please leave me a suggestion in the comments. If you did not like this video, please leave me a comment on what I can do to get better. I'm always looking to improve. Today we're going to be looking at a clip from The China Syndrome an old movie from uh, 1979 um, came out before the Three Mile Island accident and before the Chernobyl accident. Um, it actually came out two weeks right before uh, Three Mile Island, which is an interesting coincidence. But with that, let's get started. If that's true, then we came very close to the China Syndrome. For what? If the core is exposed, for whatever reason, the fuel heats beyond core heat tolerance in a matter of minutes. Nothing can stop it. And it melts right down through the bottom of the plant, theoretically to China. But of course, as soon as it hits groundwater, it blasts into the atmosphere and sends out clouds of radioactivity. The number of people killed would depend on which way the wind is blowing. Render an area the size of Pennsylvania permanently uninhabitable, not to mention the cancer that would show up later. Wow, there is a lot wrong with what this guy said. So the context of this scene is um, there was an investigation going after an incident at a nuclear power plant, and they bring in this nuclear engineer, subject matter expert to explain kind of what can go wrong if incidents like these continue to go unabated. <laughs> this is pure fantasy. Um, first off, China is not the antipode of anywhere in the United States where this movie takes place. That would be the uh, South Indian Ocean. Um, secondly, if even if something could delve through the earth it would hit the earth's core which is very hot and actually uh, very radioactive so in anything <laughs> artificial coming from the surface that far would the core would just gulp it up and nothing would even happen speaking of which this wouldn't even happen um there are three robust barriers in uh, nuclear power plants that uh, prevent um, overheated fuel and fission products from uh, escaping first is the cladding which is um, embedded around the individual fuel rods um, it is of a hardened uh, zirconium alloy mix that is can resist very high temperatures upwards of uh, 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Then there is the uh, reactor coolant system, which uh, for one delivers um, coolant to the fuel to prevent it from overheating um, in, the, in an accident type uh, scenario. And um, it is made of hardened, uh, pressure-resistant um, piping. It's uh, it's very strong, capable of uh, resisting well over um, 2,500 um, psig of pressure. And then third, you have the reactor containment building. It does exactly um, what it sounds like. It keeps fission products in and the public safe. You also have redundant safety systems designed to deliver um, water to keep the core cooled, covered, and um, properly reactive. There's uh, chemicals within the water to um, prevent any sort of um, accident involving um, restarting the reactor. The reactor will stay shut down and will stay safe. Um, when all of these emergency systems are activated. And uh, there's at least two um, 
systems and one by itself can um, do everything it needs to do to shut down the reactor and keep it safe and then some uh, most plants have at least an, have at least another one the plant that I worked at um, actually had three completely safe and independent um, safety systems to prevent this sort of thing from ever happening <laughs> But even, like I said, even if it could, you would never have a uh, China um, syndrome where it goes all the way down to China. Um, it wouldn't hit the groundwater be due to the hardened structures uh, of the reactor containment building. And fuel damage did occur, um, like I said, a couple weeks later at the uh, Three Mile Island accident, but there was no, no exposure. Um, everything in the core was completely safely contained. Um, there were no fatalities. Obviously, Pennsylvania is still a very populated state. <laughs> It is interesting they mentioned Pennsylvania because that's actually where uh, the uh, Three Mile Island accident took place. But um, yeah, everything this guy said, pure, pure fiction and fantasy. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.